Good morning, you guys. I told you I was gonna try to post once a week. So here we are, I'm gonna try this out. My toothpaste is almost out. So as you know, if you watched my last video, I did not reveal where we are getting married. So I don't really know what this video is going to be, but so far this is what I do in the morning. Dylan is already out the door. Usually we, well, sometimes we're here at the same time in the morning, sometimes not. But my workout class, my Pilates class isn't until 10.30. Yeah, and then he left to go earlier to his stuff, so. Rocky is still sleeping in his crate. I don't take him out until, well, that's not true. Sometimes I take him out, but obviously he has to go to the bathroom in the morning, so I try not to take him out until I'm ready to take him on a walk, and I don't feel ready yet to take him on a walk. Right now it's 8.45. Ah! Dylan and I have been going to bed so late, that's why it's hard to wake up in the morning. I want to go to bed earlier, and it just hasn't happened. I'm almost had my cream, so. La Roche Posay, best cream. This is like a ginormous bottle. It's very good. I have Pilates at 10.30, it's 8.45, so I'm probably just gonna walk Rocky. Let me think of some gossip I could share. Everyone likes to hear gossip. <laughs> I'm going out of town this weekend. I don't know if that's gossip, but it's something I'm doing. It's my grandma and my mom's birthday. We're going wine tasting. I actually don't know if I'm going. My mom invited me and then since then she's like mentioned it that she's going. But I feel like I'm gonna go if I still can because you know, we're celebrating two very important women in their births. But I did tell my mom at the time, I told her that I would think about it because I just know this is going to get interpreted wrong. I'm already sensing, I'm already sensing it. It's just like, I feel like safe with Dylan. Like he's my comfort safety person. And so when he's not there, especially with sleeping, I don't know, I just get like pre-anxious about it. The other night, Dylan fell asleep on the couch in the living room and I like I went to bed and he fell asleep so I couldn't pick him up and I couldn't sleep like in the bed until he got up and came to bed so I just laid there like waiting for him to like I don't know it's so weird like I literally cannot sleep without him like my manager just texted me she's going to Coachella this weekend I decided that I think I would like to go to Coachella because I guess Blink-182 is getting back together bands back together is that true so jealous about that Now I'm gonna go get dressed. I guess I could bring you with me. I'm just gonna carry this tripod around. Hey. He is so cute. Okay, Dylan taught me how to do this. Did you guys watch my last video? I learned how to work my own little tripod. Okay, opening up. Uh, well, unfortunately it looks like it's gonna thunder and rain. I thought it was gonna be possibly nice today, but guess not. So this is my closet. Dylan took the other closet that's in the guest room or this office because he says so we don't fight about our closet space, but he's just really messy and then, which sometimes he's not, but he's kind of messy in the closet area. And then when I try to clean it or if I'm like, Dylan, can you clean the closet? Anyway, so we're just avoiding that by me having this closet and him having the other closet. This is where I keep all my workout clothes. Also, I haven't made the bed yet. So <gasps> Today is my shaving, tanning, everything day. Also, we're supposed to go to an event tonight in San Diego. I don't know if we're still going, but just in case, I'm gonna be prepared. I have not shaved my legs in a while. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you some drama that happened. Let me get dressed first, hold on. Okay, so here's the drama. I was going to get in the shower, okay? And then, I don't know how it happened exactly, but somehow, Dylan locked me in the shower. Okay, so I was locked in the shower. Well, he was just holding it, like we were really hyper and we were messing around, okay? This wasn't like, weird. Well, it was weird, but. So, I'm fully clothed in the shower, and he was like holding me in the shower. <laughs> And then the bolt or something? I don't know what it's called. The nut? The bolt? 
like came out of the hinge thing. So then basically, well, basically that's the whole story actually. So now our shower, like he's like, it's fine probably. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm gonna get in the shower and the whole door's probably gonna come down on me and shatter and cut up my skin or something. Anyway, so that's that. This is my little ring that I wear when I work out. It's just a little stretchy band situation. I'm gonna make the bed now also. I have had this pimple. It's like flat now, finally, but I've had it for literally like three weeks. Finally. Rocky loves this candy corn. He squeaks this thing all day long. Oh, big yawn. You wanna go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. So, this is Rocky and I's routine in the morning. He puts his little halter on. Sometimes Dylan takes him, sometimes I take him. And then we go on a walk. So Rocky and I just got back from our walk. It's 9.15 and usually during the week, my workout class, my Pilates is at 9.30. So Monday through Thursday, it's at 9.30. And then Friday, it's at 10.30, but I still wake up like at the same time. It's kind of nice because then I just have some time to kind of hang out for a little bit. So now my camera's about to die, even though I just started using it. I don't really like to eat before I go. Maybe I'll just have like a, some water and an energy drink. Hello guys, I'm back. I drank my energy drink, hung out with Rocky, and went on TikTok, and that's about it, if I'm being honest. And now I'm on my way to Pilates. And I go to Pilates with my mom. She is meeting me there. Oh, I'm about to reverse into a car. Hold on, actually, let me reverse. This is a bad idea to start recording during this. Hey guys, I'm back from Pilates. It was a very good workout. We did a lot of arms and abs and legs so basically a full body workout also i wanted oh gosh there's a cop pulling someone over as i'm literally um doing this i'm just gonna keep you right here for now at least it wasn't my phone right i wanted to apologize that that i always look so rough in my videos i feel like i need to start putting a little bit more effort into my appearance it's just that this is what i look like most days anyway i talked to my mom and i am going tomorrow so i'm going wine tasting i got a notification that i got a package so before i go home i'm going to stop at the what's it called the mail room or whatever and get our package i don't know what it is i hope it's my mom's birthday gift i got two packages this one is from milk makeup sparky this stuff he squeaks that candy corn all freaking day i am not kidding you he loves that candy corn milk makeup okay what do we got kush mascara i wonder if that means it is marijuana Okay. Lip and cheek tint in shade quickie. Brow gel. I need this. Grip primer. I need primer. You know what I need actually? I need setting spray. Eyeliner. Makeup removing balm. And another lip and cheek tint in shade work. Thank you, Milk. This is from the brand. Okay, this is from Beach Riot. I know you guys are probably getting bored, but this is important, okay? So I actually really love Beach Riot. They fit so well and they're so cute. All my cute workout stuff when I wear it and people are like, where is that from? It's from Beach Ride, okay? Biker shorts, purple. This top matches the shorts, the like running shorts. That is not sponsored by the way. I just am a huge fan of them. Okay, so this might sound stupid, but I'm like reading this email right now. And okay, as you guys have probably noticed, I have started doing like brand collaborations, right? And as someone who has not been like a creator for that long, like a year ago, this was like very, very foreign to me, right? I feel like for people who like, don't do this. Basically when a brand like hires you to work with them, they give you a creative brief or like a content brief. So you either submit your idea or they give you like a 
you know, like a checklist of like things you have to do. So it's kind of like a school project. In my head, I see it as like a school project. Like I submitted a concept for this brand and they basically said no to the whole idea. And then they gave me their idea, which is fine. And honestly, that's like what I prefer because I would rather create it to how they want it versus me doing it and then they shut it down. So I think it's interesting because I didn't know that that's how it works. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna eat and yeah. Okay, so here's what I've decided to make. Bagel thins and I make two of them. And then I'm gonna do jalapeno cream cheese and avocado and tomato. Right now I'm heating the bagels up in or on the stove because we don't have a toaster or air fryer. Well, we do have an air fryer actually. We don't have a toaster. And honestly, every time we need something, like a toaster for example, in my head I'm just like, oh, we'll just add that to the registry. Is that bad that I think that? Even like certain things like Dylan wants to like upgrade and I'm like, no, 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 we're not gonna buy that. We'll just add it to the registry. Is that bad? That's probably bad that I just said that. Perfectly ripe. This is our spice drawer. It is in alphabetical order and it is beautiful. We do a lot of cooking, so that was like a thing that we really wanted. It was Dylan's idea, but I was on board, so. breakfast lunch situation and now I'm gonna eat then I'm probably gonna shower so I finished eating and then I called or Dylan called me and he was like yeah I think we're gonna leave around three and it's one o'clock and you might think that that's a lot of time to get ready but it's not okay I thought we were gonna leave at like five so now I really have to kick it into gear and also something terrible happened I was shutting the window and I cracked my nail. I just got my nails done last week. So this is upsetting to say the least. So to shave, I use this Gillette men's razor. I have like a million new razor things. When I do my tanning stuff, I always get a new one. Okay, and then we have a scrubby glove, which I use to exfoliate my whole body. And then EOS or EOS, whatever it is called. They sent me a pre-shave scrub and a shave shaving cream and they smell amazing. It makes your skin so soft. 10 out of 10 would recommend these. Now I'm in the shower and I'll see you after my shower. Hello everyone. Finished my shower. I'm just gonna do my skincare really quick before I go into my tanning. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. I'm gonna do some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. And then my big old bottle of La Roche Posay. Unfortunately, my camera is about to die again, but luckily I do myself tanning naked, so I wasn't really gonna show much, but this is what I use. Bondi Sand Self Tanning Foam Dark. And the reason I really like this one is because you don't have to worry about like your knees and elbows in places where it looks darker and like creases. And it smells good. It doesn't smell like a gross tanner. I'm done. So I did my makeup and my hair. I curled it, but I hope I didn't just show you my nipple, but I have not brushed through my hair. I just wanted to do like loose curls, you know? And right now it's three, oh, my dad just texted me. It's 3.30 and Dylan is still not home, so I'm not really like sweating being late. I'm gonna pick out an outfit. So Dylan is still not home. It's been like an hour. I don't even know if we're going anywhere. So like I haven't been getting dressed. I've just been eating, talking to Rocky. That's pretty much it. I should probably make better use of my time, but it's Friday, baby. Me and Rocky have been, you know, just hanging out. I think I'm just not gonna get dressed. I should be productive actually. I have things to do and I should do them. Wait, I forgot to, did I show you my tan? You could kind of tell, but it looks good in person. Like I look very tan. So a little update, I was just about to start working and then Dylan texted me that we are actually going and he's on his way. Let's go, let's pick an outfit out. I don't like going places when it's cold. 
Oh no! Hello? Hey Quinn, Dan, how you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Good, good, I'm right outside the front gate. Perfect, I'll text right now. And All right, have a good. Alright, bye. That was Dylan's dad, he is coming to get us. Oh my gosh, and I'm in a robe and he's arriving. I need to get ready. Hi guys! I went on my weekend trip, I went wine tasting. It was my grandma's birthday on Saturday and my mom's birthday on Monday, yesterday. We had a fun weekend of wine tasting. I don't think I was buzzed like the entire time though. Like I don't think I got like a buzz. <laughs> it wasn't like a crazy party weekend, it was like very relaxing. We went to the spa, had dinner, watched Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker, so. I sat in between my mom and my grandma and we watched Fifty Shades, which was a new experience for me. I have not seen that movie in so long. It used to be my favorite movie. I saw Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one, in theaters actually. I saw it with a group of friends and my friend was literally dripping beads of sweat while we were watching it. But yeah, so had a good weekend. I just got back from Pilates. <laughs> This little man is a little squiggly worm today. It's that gosh darn candy corn, I'm telling you. So, I did not like do any work this weekend. I don't know why I did air quotes. I didn't really do anything this weekend as far as work. So that's what I'll be doing today and for the rest of the week. Oh, also, I told you I got, or I think, I showed you my new workout sets from Beach Riot. But look, I'm wearing it and look how cute it is. Anyway, I hope you guys all have had a good week, weekend. I love you all and see you next week.